I know that this might be surprising to some of you, but yesterday was actually the Super Bowl. I know, right? Anyways, while that was taking place simultaneously, a real-life meetup between actual supervillains was also happening. And I don't know what they were thinking. Perhaps they believed that they would just blend into the crowd and nobody would notice them. But we saw them. And the individuals I'm, of course, referring to are billionaire owner of Twitter, Elon Musk, and Rupert Murdoch. Now, for those of you who don't know who Rupert Murdoch is, this is the individual who owns Fox News, The Wall Street Journal, and other far-right media outlets around the world responsible for brainwashing millions and millions of people. And I've got to say that the company that Elon Musk keeps is pretty interesting, we'll use that word, considering he fashions himself as some sort of an outsider populist who's also anti-establishment and oftentimes critical of the media apparatus in the United States. And we'll get to his criticism there. But let me just say, the company you keep says a lot about you as an individual. Need I remind you that at the World Cup, Elon Musk was seen chumming it up with Jared Kushner and Saudis who happened to be the second largest investors into Twitter. So for all this talk of Elon Musk being somebody who, you know, is, is with the peasants and the everyday American and the worker, I mean, by now, if you still believe that myth, I've got a bridge to sell you. But this photograph, as it began to circulate, was hilarious because the internet did what it usually does when it comes to Elon Musk, and they roasted the shit out of it. Ellie Mistal wrote, It's a shame that Lex Luthor had to miss the game with his friends. <laughs> Nikki Ramirez says, Man truly gravitates to the grossest people at the function. David Lazarus writes, Is there like a Justice League for supervillains? Yes, David, you're seeing it now. David Korn of Mother Jones adds, Elon Musk with Rupert Murdoch at the Super Bowl days after Musk tweeted, quote, some of the smartest people I know actively believe the press. Amazing. Musk is really sincere about media accuracy, right? So much so he's partying with the man who heads a media disinformation empire. And in response to that tweet, he retweeted Buck Sexton, who responded to that saying, so many high IQ people recognize the press as their emotional and cultural enforcers, so they become deeply attached to the propaganda machine. Facts be damned. Again, Elon Musk retweeted that. Facts be damned. Apparently, principles be damned because just a day later, Elon Musk would be getting buddy-buddy with Rupert Murdoch, one of the most, if not the most, destructive propagandists in human history. His reach is global. His disinformation is deadly. It actually poses a threat to democracies. And... Elon Musk is criticizing how inaccurate the media is while chumming it up with a media mogul like Rupert Murdoch. It's just, it's, it's very on brand for Elon Musk with his brand being hypocrisy and shallowness and just vapid stupidity overall. Now, I'd be remiss to not point out another story that really speaks to the stupidity of Elon Musk that dropped on, uh, I believe, Friday or Thursday. No, it was Thursday, actually, because we did discuss this on the leftist mafia last week. But Elon Musk is really frustrated with the fact that as the owner of Twitter, his tweets aren't getting more engagement because you think that if you're the god emperor of Twitter, well, everyone's going to see your tweets. But instead, for some reason, we're all seeing Matt Walsh tweets more than usual, which is uh, deeply troubling considering he is a theocratic fascist. But Elon Musk asked an engineer at a meeting last week why nobody's seeing his tweets and it did not go well and it resulted in the engineer being fired. As Platformer reports, for weeks now, Elon Musk has been preoccupied with worries about how many people are seeing his tweets. Last week, the Twitter CEO took his Twitter account private for a day to test whether that might boost the size of his audience. The move came after several prominent right-wing accounts that Musk interacts with complained that recent changes to Twitter had reduced their reach. On Tuesday, Musk gathered a group of engineers and advisors into a room at Twitter's headquarters looking for answers. Why are his engagement numbers tanking? This is ridiculous, he said, according to multiple sources with direct knowledge of the meeting. I have more than 100 million followers, and I'm only getting tens of thousands of impressions. One of the company's two remaining principal engineers offered a possible explanation for Musk's declining reach. Just under a year after the Tesla CEO made a surprise offer to buy Twitter for $44 billion, public interest in his antics is waning. Employees showed Musk internal data regarding engagement with his account, along with the Google Trends chart. Last April, they told him Musk was at peak popularity 
30 in search rankings, indicated by a score of 100. Today, he's at a score of 9. Engineers had previously investigated whether Musk's reach had somehow been artificially restricted, but found no evidence that the algorithm was biased against him. Musk did not take the news well. You're fired. You're fired, Musk told the engineer. Maybe Elon Musk has never heard the saying, don't shoot the messenger, but they told him what he didn't want to hear, so he fired them like a petulant child. And imagine being so deluded that you think that the platform you literally own is biased against you. First of all, imagine caring about your reach on Twitter. Who cares? I just don't understand the people who constantly complain about shadow bans and whatnot. Like, I get it if you're a journalist and you use platf the platform to get your message out. But like a lot of these conservatives, all they do is shit post and they reply to Elon Musk saying, hey, nobody's seeing my shit post. Like, they don't word it that way, but they pretend as if like they're important, like their their sense of self-importance is overly inflated when in actuality, you're not very important and people just don't care about what you have to say. You're corny. Nobody wants to see what you have to say, so they're not engaging with you. That's why your reach is lower. But Elon Musk just thinks, well, look, everybody loves me. I have 100 million followers. So, of course, it has to be the platform that I own is biased against me, right? It's just absurd. Now, I have to point out this paragraph because this was just so hilarious. Quote, there's times he's just awake late at night and says all sorts of things that don't make sense, one employee said, and then he'll come to us and be like, this one person says they can't do this one thing on the platform, and then we have to run around chasing some outlier use case for one person. It doesn't make any sense. And this is funny to me because I'm envisioning Elon Musk like at 3 a.m. shitting on the toilet, seeing a reply from Cat Turd saying, hey, it still feels like I'm shadow banned and I'm not getting as much impressions. And then like Elon Musk barking orders at Twitter employees to investigate Cat Turd's claim. And it's funny because even though he does this and he constantly is doing personal errands for right wingers in his replies, they still hate him. They still call him out for being shadow banned. They don't think, well, maybe it's not necessarily the algorithm, not to say that the algorithm itself is not problematic, but they just, they have to be perceived as victims. So Elon Musk didn't get the memo there that regardless of how much he tries to boost them and move them up in the algorithm and prioritize their tweets, they have to be perceived as victims because that's part of the conservative ethos. So that will never change. So they're basically incapable of being appeased by Elon Musk, and he doesn't get that, but yet he bends over backwards to wake up his own employees at 3 a.m. or whatever in the middle of the night saying, hey, dickhead241 says that they're shadow banned still, can you look into this? And he thinks that they're going to see that as a sign of good faith when they don't care, Elon Musk. But like this to me, like I read this article, and after the last year or two, I'm not surprised at all. Elon Musk is a petulant child. And if you are dumb enough to think that your own platform is biased against you, then you really have a few screws loose. You really actually aren't very bright. So either way, um, Elon Musk is basically a real life supervillain. And to see him meet up with Rupert Murdoch, um, I want people to understand that these people are meeting up and they control a large percentage of global information. And sure, it's funny to dunk on them and compare them to Lex Luthor and whatnot. I, I enjoy those tweets. But understand that this is nefarious and this should worry people. This shouldn't be the case. Like, we shouldn't have just a couple of platforms, a couple of moguls control so much information because we don't know what they're saying behind closed doors or out in the open. We don't know how they're plotting and scheming or trying to boost conservatives or bust up unions. We don't necessarily know what they're saying. So it's it's troubling. It's um, it feels gross. Were you acting like a beta, 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 beta? Call you the P word. Beta girl. Alpha male, not a beta male.